Anyway, the point is, is this is all advertising a circus. A circus? Yeah. After you've run around in town six hours menacing people with boxing gloves with porn tape to the hole outside of them, you go back to your house and then you say, announcing Jonathan Ruck, Johnny Rugrats, please believe me, circus. <laughs> so I'm desperate. The, 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 in the title of the circus is already an understanding that people don't take me seriously. They think... They think I'm wrong, and I des- desperately want to be treated like I have some value, like I'm valid in some way. The time has come for you, Jonathan, to run a circus, uh, and it's going to take place in your house. Oh, It's going to take place in your house. You're going to be the ringleader, Jonathan Rugrat, and you're the host, MC, compere of the Please Believe Me Circus. Uh, so... That's what I'm doing outside your house for, like, a day to attract people into your home. I'll have kicked your door open. I'll have made sure that the locks are busted just so that everyone knows it's, you know, entry for all ages. Ah, they'll be, they'll be... I have a couple of upstairs neighbours. I live on the bottom floor. They will be quite frightened. There's a lot of children in my neighbourhood, I would say. But then they're going to love the circus, aren't they? They're they're very dangerous children and they put themselves in danger all the time. They just run in the street with lacrosse sticks and uh, baseball bats yelling. I want to say they're like eight or nine years old. I'm always afraid that one of them's going to die and and or that somehow I will be responsible. Like when I back out of my driveway, I'm sure any second I'm going to hear a crunch because one of those kids just like decided to run under my wheels or whatever, let alone opening my doors to these children. Well, I mean, and they try to get in my house. I can't remember if I told you this. They just show up on my porch and are like, got any toys? <laughs> got any fun? Got any pizza? <laughs> like, what? I don't know. I don't even... You know how quickly this can go poorly for me, child, if you enter my home and your parents are like, why did you put my kid in your house? It's not got good. Got any pizzas? That's all they get. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? If you didn't have a door on the front of your house, they wouldn't keep trying to get in. They'd have already gotten in there, eaten the pizza and gone on their way. I don't even have any pizza. I don't know where they get these. Well, get some in. Look, if there's one thing I know about kids, right... It's if you give in and deliver to them whatever it is they want, they'll be satisfied with that and they'll move on. Wow. that's So <laughs> what you do is you say, hey, kids, I've removed the door to my house and I'm ordering pizza pretty much round the clock. Come on in, grab a slice, bring your baseball bats, make some noise. We could turn your house, right? I'll leave the circus thing. We could turn your house, right, into the world's best house for children to eat pizza in <laughs> what are, what, are, what are the what are the standards uh, other than it, it's a house and it has pizza jonathan's please believe me pizza parlor for, for tots there's free pizza for yep. anyone who comes into the house yep and you've got to order pizza from pizza hut domino's papa john's and fat fuckers <laughs> pizzeria <laughs> Just because lots of kids are going to have lots of different tastes. They're going to have preferences. Kids with baseball bats get in free. Kids without baseball get bats get in free. So I'm probably spending, I don't know, $30 an hour on, on pizza. I mean, kids at least don't <laughs> eat a lot of pizza, but I'm, I'm losing $30 an hour, which is more than a lot of people get paid. you got to spend money to make money. That's <laughs> so... So and I will get known exactly as that as that man who wants children in his house for, for free. I won't be known as uh, anyone good or smart or or not scary. Are you kidding? I'll be the the terror of the town for certain. Johnny Rugrat. Johnny Rugrat of the Please Believe Me Pizza Parlor. <laughs> the fact that I call myself like. That I want to be known as like a toddler or a toddler-ish. Like, don't think of me as a grown man. Think of me as a little rug rat. Just <laughs> around in the ground. Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna get hurt by me. It's definitely, definitely insidious. It's creepy. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> definitely makes stop. people feel like there's something secret we'll going on. Something bad. Oh, yeah. No. Whoop. 
<laughs> That'll really cause... We're going to put you in a rum pursuit with a bonnet on and a giant pacifier. <laughs> That's There's fetishes around that. The, the Maury Povich I know, show. which means we'll get it all in your size. Yeah, that's true. They do make those. Yeah, you'll be in a big blue rum pursuit with a loudspeaker and every now and then you'll take the pacifier out of your mouth and you'll put the loudspeaker to your gob and you'll go, Hey everyone, it's Johnny Rockrat. I'm just like you. Please believe me. Eat free pizza. Bring your baseball bat. <laughs> they are going to be so sure that there are roofies or razor blades or both in that pizza. They're going to, there's no, no faith at all that any of this is safe. You tell me that those kids come to your house and are like, hey, you got any pizza? I don't think they're smart enough to, to even consider that free pizza is a problem. You're going to be shocked to hear this, but I give off a real like passive... I'm going to tolerate this vibe, but none of the, like, please come over my house and eat pizza vibe. So that's, to certain mischievous children, this is like a real target. I'm a real uh, mark, they call it. Like, we can go on his porch and demand toys, and we're going to get away with it. He's not going to yell at us. They know I'm soft, basically. So so if they if I was, like, inviting them in, then they would get creeped out, I think. Well, here's the, here's the thing. This is why this is a can't-lose scenario. Either... Little Johnny Rugrats, please believe me, pizza parlor is a mass success. And all the kids come and love and get their free pizza. And you are given the key to the city and hailed as an international superstar for basically good pizza antics. Or the kids ain't going to trust it and they'll never come around again and then they won't bother you. The third option is... They tell their parents, like, that man tried to get us in the house. He was dressed like a, a baby and he had a microphone. He said he was just like me and I'm, I'm scared. I don't, I'm a daddy. Can, 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 can you keep me safe from the monster man down the street? And then the police. And then why don't you have a door? And then why are you dressed like a baby? All the explanations are going to be requested and I'm not, I wouldn't. Well, no, because if the, if the police come round or if any parents come round... And they say, you know, have you been telling kids to come into your house? You'll just go, "Uh uh-oh, I didn't do that. (laughs) I think it was on, I think I was on. Please believe me. That doesn't, it does work. In Looney Tunes cartoons, uh, a character's eyes can suddenly grow like giant and droopy and their mouth gets small and they say, I'm sorry. And then all is forgiven. I'll tell you what. No, we're going to sort this out once and for all. We're going to sort this out, right? Once and for all. Okay. Yeah. You are a dad. You've just been told by your kid about Johnny Rugrats, Police Believe Me Pizza Parlor. Okay. Wow. You're, I guess... In your little head, you're confused, angry, you want answers, okay? You as the parent, we'll do role play here. You as the parent, you're coming round to the Please Believe Me Pizza Parlor. I am you in this scenario. I'm in my romper suit, I got my bonnet, I got my sucker in my mouth, and let's act it out. Let's let's show you how this won't be an issue. So just imagine you're angry. I mean, I would just call the police. I would keep my child indoors, and I would call the police with the address... I wouldn't want to go nowhere near it. And Not I'd in today's it. society. Parents like to sort this stuff out themselves. So role play, you're an angry parent and okay. I'm you. And, and I'll show you how basically by the end of this, you're going to feel like none of this is an issue. All right. Ding dong. Ring the bell. Well, there's no doorbell. The door isn't oh, there. That's I'm, right. I'm just so. on the doorstep. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Free pizza for you. Please believe me. <laughs> would i lie i mean i i i for my day job i ask other people to role play a lot and they get really uncomfortable and i'm like come on it's no big deal and just just see what would happen and don't worry about saying it wrong and now i'm put in this position where it's very because i would not i would not go near that man i would stay very far away from that porch i would bring like mace or or any sort of a non uh, arrestable weapon. I don't want to get arrested. I would. This guy is th- literally the least safe human being I've ever heard about. <laughs> please believe me. Just alone on his porch. 
Just like a baby saying... Not alone. There's probably going to be a lot of pizza delivery people there. Uh, who are also <laughs> in and out as quick as they, you know, get the money and, and run because they don't oh, have any sort Oh, is that a meat feast? I like to feast on meat. Please believe me. <gasps> no one is getting within an arm's length. They're, they're scanning for firearms because they're thinking maybe he's going to, like, trank me and pull me into the... Home, and then after they see there's no no gun, or or uh, or any sort of firearm, they 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 don't get within arm's length because they don't want to get stabbed or or tased. Or. Oh hello! It looks like a grown up wants to come play. <laughs> hello! I got pizza for you. It's free. Please believe me. Oh, you look like Still a grumpy shell. <laughs> It's you everything. Look so like a grumpy guts. So when a when a when an adult human is talking to you and they won't they they end their statement but then just start a new one before you can say anything, you know you're probably gonna get killed. Because they, they don't even see you as, as being alive, as being real. They just think, Oh just keep going with my new idea. Maybe if I tickle your toes a little bit, oh you don't like that. Maybe you'll like it if I play with your hair and you're like, I'm gonna die. This is it. This is over. There's no way I'm surviving this one. So it was what you think. If if you stopped for a second so I could be like, Sir, why are you talking to my children about pizza? Why are you dressed as a baby? I don't much appreciate your tone. No, No, I'm the bad guy. (laughs) I don't much appreciate your tone. I'm just Johnny Wugwet, and this is the Please Believe Me Pizza Power. Please believe me. (laughs) There's no way to roll because I'm, there's no, I I scan my brain for every potential, you know, like in a video game when you have a decision tree between uh, dialogue options when when somebody's, there's no option where I say anything (laughs) that leads to anything good happening. I'm like, tell him it's not a pizza parlor. Tell him it's a porch. Ask again, why are you dressed as a baby? There's no reason for you to dress as a baby. Why are you talking to my children? You're a grown man. They're they're four or five years old. None of them are going to lead to anything good with, with, with Johnny Rugrat. And it's please believe me, pizza parlor. It's just a real, it's a lose-lose with this guy. You look like you got a shower cranky in your panties. Well, I know what would make you feel better. Some free pizza. Here, it's hot and cheesy, just like me. Why don't you grab a slice? (laughs) And the thing is, I love pizza. Like, part of me would be like, just take the pizza. Just, you don't, don't, you're you're overthinking it. Just eat the man's pizza. But when you said, I've got a sour cranky in my panties. (laughs) That is, there's never a time where that's going to lead to anything good. That's uh, that's always bad. And somebody's looking at your panties and they they call it a sour... Cr- What's a sour... Is that a big turd or something? What's a sour cranky? I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't even... <laughs> Just eat the pizza. Come on. Meet me halfway. Eat the pizza. And I'll keep giving pizza to all the good people at Boston. Please believe me. It's like... It's... It's worse than Pennywise the Clown, for sure. Like, uh, and the, on the scale of... I'll, I'll, I'll suck your dick. <laughs> wow, yeah. Essentially, if, if the dad doesn't go away, you just say, I'll suck your dick. Just keep, keep letting me do this. I need this for my career. I'll do it right now. On the porch. I'll do it right now on the porch. <laughs> wow, so, so disarming desperation, like a true... <laughs> true opening up of my vulnerabilities and just willing to submit to giving oral sex to a stranger is somehow going to make them be like, I'm sorry I gave you a hard time. I understand now. (laughs) This is, you're going through a rough patch. (laughs) That offer fellatio in no way leads me to feel you're a more potential threat to my child. I get it. You're a good guy. I'm glad you finally <laughs> see things my way. <laughs> no, I wasn't actually. How about a slice? They all say it's all just all about it. Why would he want me to eat this pizza? What, what, it, 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 what kind of fetish, what kind of derangement leads someone to just desperately want to watch other people eat 
their pizza while they're dressed like a baby. I've everywhere. tried being nice. <laughs> oh, no. I tried. I tried meeting you halfway. <laughs> you really didn't. You offered to give me I a... tried making you feel really happy, and you're still here. And you're still asking questions. Uh, this pizza is very fucking hot. <laughs> and it's going into your fucking face. If you don't turn around right now and fuck off. Still doing the cute baby <laughs> voice. Did serious adult voice when it was like this. How's that for an offer? Get the fuck off of my property, you piece of shit. Wow. I was picturing a... Uh... One way or another. Mm. You'll become famous off the back of this. Oh, I forgot that was the whole premise. I was <laughs> yeah. just deep in the world of what I would do if I had to face this man.